This video will cover the topic adding rational expressions with different denominators and a single occurrence of a variable. To add or subtract two fractions with different denominators, we rewrite the fractions with a common denominator and then add or subtract the numerators. Let's break it down with an example. 3 over 4 minus 7 over 5y. This is an example of one fraction subtracted from another. Normally when we have two fractions added or subtracted, our first step is to find a common denominator for the two fractions. We do the same thing when there's a variable involved. How do we find a common denominator of two fractions when there's a variable in the denominator of one of them? That's a good question. If we just had numbers in the denominators and no variables, we would need to find the least common multiple of both of these denominators. When we have a variable, we need to do the same thing. We need to find the smallest term that both 4 and 5y are factors of. To find the least common multiple, or LCM, of 4 and 5y, let's first find the least common multiple of our constants, 4 and 5, and then the least common multiple of our variables, and then we'll multiply those two least common multiples. One way to find the least common multiple of 4 and 5 is to list several multiples of each number and then find the least one that they have in common. Some multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And some multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. From these two lists, we can see that the smallest number that's a multiple of both 4 and 5 is 20. So 20 is the least common multiple of our constants in the denominators. The next step is to find the least common multiple of the variables in both denominators. How can we do that? There aren't any variables in the denominator of the first fraction. You're right. In this case, we don't have a variable in both denominators. We only have y as a variable in the second denominator. So y is the least common multiple of the variables. Now we found that the least common multiple of our constants is 20, and the least common multiple of our variables is y. So the least common multiple of the denominators is 20 times y, or 20y. So now do we have to rewrite these fractions using the least common multiple, 20y, as a common denominator? Correct. In order to make the denominator of our first fraction, 20y, we need to multiply it by 5y. To keep the value of the fraction the same, we'll also multiply the numerator by 5y. This shows that the first fraction can be rewritten as 15y over 20y. Okay, now to make the second fraction have a denominator of 20y, we need to multiply the denominator by 4. And in order to keep the value of this fraction the same, we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. Now we see that our second fraction can be rewritten as 28 over 20y. Great, now we can rewrite our expression using these equivalent fractions that have a common denominator. Instead of 3 over 4, we'll write 15y over 20y. And instead of 7 over 5y, we'll write 28 over 20y. Now that we have the same denominator in both fractions, we can subtract the numerators and keep the same denominator to get our final answer. This gives us 15y minus 28 over 20y. Since this cannot be simplified any further, it's our final answer. So in order to add or subtract two fractions, including a variable, we first must find a common denominator. Next, we'll rewrite the fractions using the common denominator. After that, we can add or subtract the numerators while keeping the same denominator. At that point, if needed, we'll simplify the solution as much as possible. Sounds like you understand this topic well. 